Peanut was an eastern gray squirrel saved by Mark Longo in 2017 after its mother was killed by a car in New York City. Over time, Peanut became quite famous on social media, with its owner posting videos and photos that attracted a large following. In late October 2024, following anonymous complaints, Peanut, along with a raccoon named Fred, were seized from Mark Longo's home in Pine City, New York, by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. The reason cited was the potential for these wild animals to carry rabies, posing a public health risk due to their close interaction with humans. Tragically, both animals were euthanized, which sparked widespread controversy and public outcry. It not only tears my family apart, but Peanut was the cornerstone of our nonprofit animal rescue. And 10 to 12 DEC officers raided my house as if I was a drug dealer. I was sat outside my house for five hours. I had to get a police escort to my bathroom. I wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses breakfast or lunch. I was sit sat there like a criminal. After they interrogated my wife to check out her immigration status, then proceeded to ask me if I had cameras in my house, then proceeded to go through every cabinet, nook and cranny of my house for a squirrel and a raccoon. The incident has led to a significant backlash against the authorities' decision, with many people, including notable figures like Elon Musk, expressing dismay over what they perceive as an overreaction. The case has been discussed across various platforms, including X, formerly Twitter, where users have debated the legalities, ethics, and the emotional impact of euthanizing these animals. This event has raised questions about the legality of keeping wild animals as pets in New York, the handling of such situations by state officials, and the broader implications for animal welfare and rights. Critics argue that the response was disproportionate, especially considering attempts to make Peanut an educational animal were in process. I'm no expert in anything involving politics or the state, but they sent six to eight officers to my house from Albany to confiscate a squirrel and a raccoon, and it was signed off on a search warrant. So just that, that in its sense to say that is one of the most I, I, shocking things I could say, in my opinion, is we just used resources and spent an entire day sitting two people who run a nonprofit animal rescue and treat them like criminal. For Mark Longo, Peanut not only was a beloved pet, but also pivotal for his online presence, which reportedly generated significant income through social media and related content. The loss has been both emotional and financial, prompting discussions on how such personal investments in wildlife can be legally and ethically managed. The incident has also been politicized, with some seeing it as an example of government overreach or misplaced priorities, especially juxtaposed against other societal and criminal issues in New York City. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news and information. Have a fantastic day. Are you tired of the legacy news media on election night? Don't miss Max Wilson's election coverage tomorrow, starting around 6 p.m. Mountain time, no drama, just facts. Max will simply color in the map, do the math, and let you know who's in first place. Will it be Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? You'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out.